Hello everyone, my name is Doug Motz, and today we're going to be talking about a couple of Jayco's motorized products. Not one Melbourne, but two Melbournes. The Melbourne and the Melbourne Prestige. Ryan Esch is the product director who manages this line of products, and he's going to walk us through first the Melbourne? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Doug. So as Doug mentioned, today we're going to walk through the Melbourne and the Melbourne Prestige. Now, similar to some of the other product lines, you know, we, we've walked through the Greyhawk, Greyhawk Prestige. We've walked through a Redhawk SE and a Redhawk. We have a couple different levels of the same product. Uh, so similar to those other products you're going to find here, uh, we've got the regular Melbourne right behind us, and then, and then behind that is the Melbourne Prestige. Melbourne Prestige, obviously the same name, it's going to have more premium features. Um, so a little bit higher end, and again, just some more premium features. So without further ado, let's start here on the Melbourne. Now it's important to remember all of our Melbournes, whether it be Melbourne or Melbourne Prestige, are built on this Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So on your regular Melbourne, um, we actually have uh, uh, three floor plans now. Um, we've got the 24L, which is behind us, a 24K, and then we have a brand new 24T, uh, which information is available on our website. T stands for twin bed. So very exciting. Make sure you check that out. Uh, today we're going to walk through the 24L. Uh, so we'll, we'll cover a few things that are important about the Melbourne line um, as a whole, and then certainly some things that are pretty special about, about this floor plan. Um, so of course, I mentioned, if you look right up here in front, um, all Melbournes, Melbourne Prestiges are built on this Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Now what's, what's unique about this Mercedes Sprinter chassis is, is there's, you know, I can't do a whole lot to this chassis, right? It's not like the E450 where you're going to find them out there where they're, you know, nine, you know, 19 to 32 feet. Really anything that's built on this chassis is, is going to be about 25 feet. Um, now these Mercedes, it's a 188 horsepower diesel engine. Um, that's going to give you a little bit better gas mileage than what you'll traditionally find in that in that gas class C. Um, so, so better gas mileage, again, a nice little diesel engine. At 188 horsepower, though, still enough room to get around. And as we mentioned, a little bit smaller. So our floor plans are, are 24 feet, um, small enough that you can zip in and out of cities, zip in and out of parking lots. Don't have to worry about taking up a lot of room. So definitely nice there. Again, that, that Sprinter chassis. Now, if we come back here, and again, this is going to be uh, consistent on all of our Jayco products, uh, but of course, carrying it over to the Melbourne, Melbourne line, you see that nice two plus three warranty, um, that industry leading two year warranty. And then this year for all of our model year 20 products, uh, we've gone the, the, the next step, Doug, and we've given it that plus three or added that three year structural warranty just for that extra, extra layer of protection. Um, uh, again, just, just a nice, a nice add. If we look up here, consistent to all Class C's, you've got that front overhead bunk. Again, we've talked about it on our Red Hawk or Gray Hawk products, and you see that we've taken that seamless one-piece fiberglass front cap and we've moved it into our Melbourne products as well. So what that does, again, driving down the road, if you do get some rain, do get some weather, of course that front cap is gonna be the first thing that, that hits the elements. Um, putting a one-piece front cap up there, it just it, it gives it more durability um, and really helps protect it against, against the elements. Of course, with that two-year warranty, that's extremely important uh, because we wanna make sure, obviously, again, that, that your product lasts. Uh, so, you, you know, walking through it, you're going to find a, a ton of little things, but certainly that one piece seamless fiberglass front cap um, is a huge, huge, huge part of, of that Melbourne. Is that the only front cap that's offered on the Melbourne? Do we have a different, like the smaller? Great question. So on the traditional Melbourne, yes, that is the only, you get the front overhead bunk option. Um, on the inside, there's an option for a front entertainment center as well, but it's still the same front overhead bunk. When we jump back, back to the Melbourne Prestige, we have what's called our B plus option. We'll talk about that a little bit when, when we get back. Um, so a few things just as we come down the coach, again, I mentioned that traditionally Melbournes are a little bit smaller. Again, three, four planes in our traditional Melbourne lineup, um, all at that 24 feet. This one being a 24 L. Um, that 24L is a huge full wall slide that's going to be on the other side. What I love about that, Doug, is when you get in, you're going to find how much room it gives you on the inside, but also with it being a full wall slide, that, that opens up your entire campsite, okay? So of course, if you look up above, you've got a huge awning that goes down the entire length of your coach. Of course, you're going to have an LP Quick Connect, so you've got enough room, even in a 24-foot coach, that you can put a, a full picnic table here, a food table, a gas grill, anything that you need to, to entertain. Again, whether you're out tailgating or camping for the weekend or um, you know, just, just pulling over for, for, the night, for the night to sleep. 
All of your Melbournes as well, you see come standard with the frameless windows. Um, so frameless windows, again, you can tell that that black part is gonna cover that seal. It's gonna help protect against any sun damage, any cracking, um, just gives it a higher end look as well. So again, we do that to, to help protect again because we have that two year warranty, um, but also because we wanna give it a little bit more of a sleek look. Uh, we understand again, customers are buying a, a Mercedes um, Mercedes Benz here. So anything, any little thing that we can do to help improve, improve the look, we wanna make sure that we, we do. Um, so again, just a few items here on the outside, but, but remember the two plus three warranty, that seamless one piece fiberglass front cap, um, the, the frameless windows, um, and again, that, that nice, nice large awning. So Doug, unless you've got anything else, we can hop on the inside. Real quickly, just wanted to touch upon this uh, graphics package. Is that new for 2020? It is not new for 2020, um, but you will find. So this is what will come standard. So this is a graphics package. So it's on a it's on a laminated wall here, with a fiberglass laminated wall, um, and you get a nice graphics package. We have added um, three three brand new um, full body paint options though for for 2020. That's so awesome. yeah, your graphics. By the way, it, it, it's the, the blue, the gray, and the black, and boy, they really. From this vase, they just look amazing. It's very sharp and sleek, like you suggested, and it really matches or uh, follows along that Mercedes chassis feel. Of course, absolutely. Well, let's head inside. Going to turn off the radio there first. Um, so, of course, all Melbourne, speaking of the radio, are going to come standard here. I'm kind of in the way, but they're going to come standard with our SoundStream radio. Um, that's going to come complete with, uh, with with GPS, of course, AM, FM. And also for this new for this new model year, any, any of our products, any of our gas products, um, are going to come equipped with Sirius, with Sirius XM. So we give you the tuner, we give you the antenna, so it's just like buying a new car. There's nothing, no aftermarket parts that you have to buy. Um, and then we do give you a three month free trial as well. We partnered with Sirius and, and they've agreed to do that. So very exciting then with any of our gas products, um, you're gonna find, um, or gas, of course, this is diesel, but you're going to find any of the aftermarket radios that we put in, I should say, you're gonna find that we give you that, that free trial. Now, for those of you, I'm gonna sit down here because for those of you who are familiar with this Sprinter chassis, uh, you're gonna find that it looks substantially different than what it did in prior model years. Um, Mercedes made quite a bit of changes from, from, their, from their model year. So this is a new Mercedes chassis that you're looking at. Um, of course, you've still got your swivel seats here. Still got your swivel seats, but what I love about this is they've actually upgraded their seats. So instead of it being a cloth or something that you would find in a traditional cargo van, they really tried to model this cab area after their cars, right? That high-end luxury feel. So you're gonna find that that's a nice ultra leather. Um, they've even added in, again, some other features. Um, you've got that right there, so a little knee. Um, if, you, if you got longer legs, so you can adjust that. Of course, you've got your lumbar support here. Um, so quite quite a bit of additions that they've made to their um, to, to their cab area, both in their both in their seats and of course their cab area. One thing that I forgot to mention, another big upgrade for this Sprinter chassis is all all of these new chassis have the seven speed transmission. So where traditionally it was a five, so they bumped it up to a seven speed. So that's very very exciting. Um, and again, that's going to be in the model year 19 Sprinter chassis um, or or their their current current model year chassis. Doug, any questions so far? No, that seat does look very comfortable, though I will admit, and also that leather surface, just mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's bold. It, it's a very sharp look, especially when you look at the cabin as a whole. When you look at it, you're absolutely right. And again, when you look at the cabin as a whole, you can find that this, this steering wheel is upgraded. You can find, you know, the, the, the you know, H, um, your, your AC heat controls, everything. It just gives it more of an automotive feel, whereas before, um, it, it gave it a little bit more of a cargo feel, but again, that gives it a very, very nice feel there. Um, of course, as we're panning up here again, continuing in, into the coach again, this is our 24 L four plan. So this is our full wall slide, uh, again, gives you a ton of space on the inside. And that's what I love. Anytime you're in a smaller motor home, especially this 24 feet space is extremely important. We talked about all that exterior patio, patio, um, space that you get. Now, when you come in here, you know, there's there's three of us in here currently, and it feels very, very comfortable. Of course, driver and passenger swivel seats. You get a front overhead bunk that's rated at 750 pounds. So if you needed to sleep even two full-size adults, that'd be absolutely no problem. Um, you pan around right here. Traditionally, uh, what comes standard here is going to be a, a dinette. So a nice big U-shaped dinette. Um, 
If you don't want that though, we do offer this nice theater seat option. Um, so you can, you know, again, sit down, nice theater seats. Um, you've got little posts in here as well. So there's actually a removable table that you can pop in. So if you did want to enjoy a meal um, and, and again, be able to watch TV, you can, you can certainly do that. I was looking at these seats before we got into the unit and it reminds me of like pulling the uh, string on your, your uh, parachute. Yeah. <laughs> right off to relax land. That's right. Yeah, it's a really nice so I like that a lot. Absolutely. A great a great addition there. Again, what we talked about in a 24 foot coach, what's important and that's storage. Um, so if you're going to look, there's a ton of wardrobe storage here. Of course, you get a nice big pull-out pantry. Um, you know, what what a great thing to have in a 25 foot motorhome. Um, nice big wardrobe. See tons of drawers here, so enough enough room for all for all of your stuff. Um, and even on the other side, we didn't skimp when when we got to the kitchen. Again, uh, you see this flush mount stove here, so you got a nice you know a, a ton of countertop space. This stainless steel, nice big stainless steel bowl here. It does come with a sink cover as well, so if you needed to use the entire thing for space, you can. Um, of course, overhead storage, um, storage underneath. So again, I keep saying storage, but it's so important. Um, even when you look at the refrigerator, so this is an eight cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator where a lot of times in this product, you're going to find that they, again, they need the space. So they go down to a five or a six. Um, not here. We've, we've, we've left the eight there. So, so giving you, giving you more storage, even above all of the wardrobe or above the, above the bed, excuse me. And then above the theater seats, um, everywhere that we can, we wanted to put, we wanted to give you, give you extra storage, um, and then you can pan into the bathroom again for a 25 foot coach. We tried to maximize every little space, giving you, giving you, you know, cubbies everywhere. Of course, a medicine cabinet, um, ton of, ton of bathroom countertop space, um, and then a nice, a nice big shower there. So, um, again, Doug, 24L Melbourne, lot to love about it. You know, anything from that two plus three warranty to the one piece fiberglass front cap. Um, and then even, even on the inside, all those residential amenities, um, your nice big theater seat here, I didn't even mention, but this is a residential size convection microwave. Um, nice big, nice big refrigerator. So even in a 24 Look, foot space, um, I didn't even I didn't even Ooh. mention that. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah, nice. <laughs> there you go. So without further ado then, uh, as we mentioned, we're going to talk about the Melbourne and Melbourne Prestige. So let's uh, go right behind us there and we will, we will discuss the Melbourne Prestige, show you the differences there. So back right behind here, again, we talked about the Melbourne Prestige, Doug. Um, and as I mentioned, you can see that the Melbourne Prestige is still on that Mercedes chassis. So all of the Melbournes that we are building, Melbourne, Melbourne Prestige, are going to be on this Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It's going to be the same 188 horsepower diesel engine. Um, so the, the platform, it's the same. It's just, again, what the premium features that we're adding. So the first thing that I want to I wanna mention, if we pan up, and actually if we look back a little bit, we can tell that that front cap, um, it's a little bit more aerodynamic, right? It's a little bit more sleek. Um, we've added, and what we've done, so we wanted to give you a little bit more of that aerodynamic, a little bit more of that European style feel. Um, and then we added that nice big panoramic windshield up there. Um, gorgeous when you get on the inside. So you got that power shade again that goes up, goes down, um, gives you a ton of natural light if you need it. Or, or of course, if you're sleeping and don't want the light, you can put the shade down. Um, or just gives you an unbelievable place to look out, whether you're camping um, or, or whether you're sitting in your driveway, quite, quite honestly. So that is a huge upgrade there, the Melbourne Prestige, a huge difference maker of, of that. Um, now, clearly, we talked about that standard graphics package and the fact that there are full body paint options available for the Melbourne. Uh, you find here this full body paint now becomes a standard feature on your Melbourne Prestige. So there are three options for full body paint, this obviously being one of them, uh, but full body paint becomes a standard feature. Uh, when you pan up and you see the roof, another major difference of your Melbourne Prestige is gonna be that one piece seamless fiberglass front cap, okay? Uh, you had TPO, TPO on the Melbourne, certainly nothing wrong with that, but we do give you a fiberglass, um, fiberglass roof on, on here. As we put the awning out, you'll notice uh, it's, a, it's a complete armless awning, right? So your traditional RV awning, it's got those legs that go down the side. Certainly nothing wrong with that. 
um, but you see this nice Gerard armless awning. It just gives you a, a much cleaner look. You don't get the legs that, that go down the side of your coach. Um, you can, nice LED awning light as well. Uh, but you really notice your paint scheme. It doesn't take away from, from any, any of that paint. Um, of course, frameless windows continue to be a standard across both of our products. I love this big kitchen window. We'll make sure that we check that out when we get on the inside of the coach, but a great size kitchen window right there. Um, another difference, again, you can see, um, we really wanted to focus on, on, on getting this more, you know, making it look a little bit more automotive and, and, and making it feel a little bit more aerodynamic. So we've added these, these, these metal baggage doors. Of course, that one's locked. Uh, this one is not, but you can see the, the aluminum, the, the metal skirt hung, hung baggage doors do, this is your propane tank, but they do keep themselves up by them um, by themselves. And again, just a little bit more of a, a high end. You traditionally only find that in, in some of the higher end, higher end products. Continuing around the back, uh, you're going to find that we've added uh, some, some rear cap uh, fiberglass accents as well. So it just gives the, the rear, instead of it just being a flat wall, it just gives it a little bit more of a a higher end look. You see some some different style um, brake lights, tail lights there as well. So just just trying to do all that we can aesthetically to to the Melbourne Prestige, um, just to give it a few more. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Doug. So that is a standard feature in both your regular Melbourne and your Melbourne Prestige. Uh, that is a rear backup camera. Of course, above that rear backup camera camera is your third brake light. That is a standard in every Jayco motorhome. We give you a third brake light. Certainly aren't required to, but we just simply do it because it's the right thing to do. Um, again, obviously, this is uh, an, an investment for our customers, and we want to make sure that we're doing all we're doing our part to to help protect protect that. And safety becomes a a big deal. This, this offers a towing package as well, so that's nice if you have a vehicle or something you need to tow. You can do that with the Melbourne Prestige. Absolutely, and again, on that Sprinter chassis, um, our hitches it's going to be about 4,200 pounds that you can tow. Um, certainly, again, that's another thing that we talked about, though, with this product. It is significantly smaller, um, so a lot of our customers will, you know, choose not to tow something. You know, maybe they get into this because they want to be able to drive in and out of cities with, without towing something, or, or they want to be able to go to, you know, pull into their campsite and maybe pull out to go to the grocery store, such like that. But 4,200 pounds, again, certainly small enough, or certainly enough um, to, to pull a, a good-sized tow vehicle. Having uh, written in this or road however you want to say it, it uh, it's very agile and it's very responsive it's a very smooth ride uh, I really like this this motorhome a lot and the way that it feels when you're like inside of it and you're traveling yes so we will love it even more when we go on the inside now this is a brand new floor plan for us uh, just introduced it so extremely excited we call it our 24 RP you're gonna find um, RP doesn't necessarily stand for anything but it is a Murphy bed floor plan so you're gonna find just like the L get a nice full wall slide gives you a ton of room um, but even more versatility when you when you get into when you get into this. So, without further ado, here. So let's pan to the front there. Um, again, we talked about some of the same the same upgrades um, in your Melbourne in regards to the cab area, just feeling a little bit more automotive. Certainly applies to our Melbourne Prestige line. Um, of course, when you pan up, that whole front section does look different than what it did in your regular Melbourne. Uh, Doug, can you press that up and down button there on your right hand side? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh, there it is. yes, there it is. So what's very again, what's what's very awesome about that, you see that nice huge um, panoramic windshield is what we call it. It's got that power shade. Um, so it gives you a ton of versatility, whether you want more natural light at your campsite, you know, you want your coach to be a little bit brighter as you're driving down the road, or whether um, you know your kids want to look at their or lay up there at night and look at the stars. Um, just just gives you a, a, a ton um, of, of possibilities and, and things that you can do. Now let's stop right here because again, so we're going to talk about the bed here in a little bit. So this is a brand new floor plan called our Murphy bed, um, but I really want to focus on this section right here. Um, and, and what I love, again, in a 25-foot coach, there's a few things that are important. Obviously, interior space, as we can see with this full wall slide, is important. Uh, we talked about that, that exterior space on the campsite, but holy cow, having a nice big kitchen um, is, is important. And again, for a 25-foot coach, this is an absolutely huge kitchen. Um, you don't have, I mean, you have enough countertop, countertop space. You can put a coffee pot. You can do prep work. You can have something baking. Um, and you can be doing dishes all, all at one time. 
of course you'd need four or five hands to do all that but but you, you certainly have enough space to to do it and then of course um, if you're looking at all of the different wardrobe space right here or not wardrobe i'm sorry but kitchen space um, you just get a ton of drawers um, and again something you don't traditionally find on on these smaller motorhomes um, of course you get a nice big overhead here you do have your tv on a swivel bracket here and there is storage in behind there so that's nice a convection microwave um, so so just so much to offer here here in the kitchen I just saw you pull that, so this locks in then, so it, it doesn't does. move around. And yes, absolutely. You can pull that, it keeps it safe. That's keeps nice. Keeps it safe. Look at of all course. the space on the floor. This is just a ton of space. Like this is a large open area. That, uh, it it is, and again, remember, we're only in a twenty five foot or twenty four foot coach, so that's extremely important. I mean, you could have, um, you know, you you and your wife could be watching watching a movie here. You could have kids. Your kids could be playing games and. Fluffy the dog could be taking a nap on the floor. So there's a ton of space really for the entire family, which is so key in these floor plans to be able to utilize every little inch of the coach. So we see the dinette again. We talked about that nice dinette. Now what I love about this floor plan, um, it gives you a ton of space for to entertain either just you and the missus or um, your, your entire family. Um, it's time to go to bed. This is a Murphy bed. Now what's important, a lot of Murphy beds um, they're hard to handle, right? I mean, because they're heavy and then you're trying to, to awkwardly get over the sofa and they just can be awkward to put up, to put down. Um, what I love about this, what our engineering team has, has been able to do, um, you see this is an electric Murphy bed. I am gonna get these seat belts out of the way. Um, remember at Jayco, we do put seat belts in every seating location. So four in the dinette, two right here, two up there. Um, but look how easy this Murphy bed is to operate. With a push of a button, you see it goes up, or I'm sorry, it comes down. Um, all you need to do again, you know, make, put down your sleeping bag, put down your sheets, throw your pillows, whatever, whatever you want. Um, but so easy to operate. Now a few things here that, that are cool. Um, all Melbourne Prestiges come with an inverter, right? And what an inverter does is it takes your battery power or 12 volt power and it turns it into 110. So let's say that we're gonna go to sleep, right? Um, and I need somewhere to charge my phone. If you look right up here, there are 110 outlets on either side of the bed. Um, both of these outlets are powered by the inverter. So that means even if you're not plugged in, even if you don't have the generator running, you can simply flip on your inverter. Uh, you could plug in a 110, 110 there to, to charge your phone. Great little nightstands too, up and out of the way when you don't need them. Um, Excuse me. Another thing I love about this, if you notice, obviously the bed goes up and this acts as, as that back filler cushion, okay? Now, if you're sleeping this way, and here's what's key, um, what's gonna be up here is gonna be your pillow, right? Because what you don't want, what a lot of other manufacturers do, they put that slit or they put that filler cushion down here at the end. Well, then what happens, right? It either gets in, you know, it gets in, you know, by your waist where you're, when you're moving around, it separates when you're sleeping, or if it's too close down by your feet, you end up knocking it off and then you're sleeping off the end of the bed. Um, where this up here, again, there's nowhere for that to go. You've got your pillow there, so you're not gonna feel it, um, but a great space for that filler cushion, something a lot of people don't think about, um, but, but certainly important. Again, we talk about storage, even underneath the Murphy bed. Um, we're, we're gonna give you overhead storage. So really, um, I think our engineering team did an unbelievable job just thinking of every little aspect of this coach. Where can we focus on storage? Where can we put more? Um, even again, we talked about outlets. You can never have enough outlets. Um, there's two more 110 outlets on either side there. Again, the reason we do that, we're gonna put this up. Look how easy that goes up, Doug. It is like an instant made bed. It's it's pretty cool. And so again, we talk about those 110 outlets um, there. Not only that, even look at this. Again, when I talk about utilizing every single space of this coach, um, to, to to even drawers under underneath there is pretty cool. Um, let's head back into the bathroom. Again, we talk about storage. As we walk back again in our Melbourne Prestige, is another upgrade. This is a 12 or I'm not a 12. Um, this is going to be a gas electric and 12 volt. This is a six cubic foot fridge, um, but it's a gas electric and 12 volt. So that means it can run obviously off of your LP gas, off of your shore power electric, um, or it can run off, off, off of your battery. So pretty cool there. Um, again, look at all of this storage pantry space, even above there. 
Um, even coming back into the bathroom, you see a nice big wardrobe for those hanging clothes. Um, just again, utilizing every single square inch of, of this coach. Of course, a medicine cabinet, and then I'll get out of the way here, and you can see even a nice big shower integrated in into this. So, um, Doug, again, even though it's a it's a it's a small coach, a lot to a lot to love about it. Um, even a few things I forgot up here. Real quickly, what is this uh, this rounded cabinetry cost or face? Uh, what kind of is? Great. So thank you for pointing that out. Because again, there, there's a few things I got so excited about this big countertop and this Murphy bed. I, I, so. I kind of stopped, you know, explaining all the all, all the upgrades of, of the Melbourne Prestige. But these curved cabinets, this is another big benefit or big upgrade of to the Melbourne Prestige from the regular Melbourne, where your regular Melbourne, Melbourne gives you traditional style cabinets. Um, this gives you more of a European look. So again, in this nice little Sprinter, pla sprinter platform, excuse me, um, it just gives it an upgraded look. More, more of a high-end look. Uh, again, we've even integrated a woven vinyl flooring here. So this is traditionally you only find this on, on you know, in the marine industry or on yachts, um, but very, very durable, um, very easy to clean, and just gives it gives it a higher a higher end look. Um, finally, again, what's another very important feature for model year 20, and this is for all Melbournes and all Melbourne Prestiges, we have added the option for the four-point leveling. Okay, so what comes standard is going to be a two-point, um, a, a two-point electric, uh, electric stabilizing jack system. Excuse me, um, but the option is going to be a four-point, actually hydraulic leveling. That means it will actually level your coach um, again to make sure that you're you're 100% level. Um, so Doug, I don't know if you got any more questions, but again, the 24 RP Melbourne Prestige, brand new for us, Murphy bed, gives you a ton of space on the inside. Um, uh, an, an awesome place to sleep when you're when you're ready to, to, to go to bed, um, and then just a ton of premium features on on the outside. Anything else you'd like to add? If you have any questions about the Melbourne or Melbourne Prestige that you saw today, or any of the floor plans that are offered in those two motorhomes, be sure to uh, put your question at the bottom of this video, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you.